Put that up there like it's about to stay. Sorry. Uh, there we go. No? No, this is not gonna work. Well the camera's already moving. We ain't even we ain't moving. There we go. Alright. So y'all might fall. But don't you come over here. We um he took me to return the birthday gift. Uh, the other birthday gift he got me was a dress that turned out to be a lot more conservative than what he thought it was gonna be. Because he went to Macy's. And Macy's is kind of hard. Most of Macy's is a very conservative, older woman store. And I find myself, unless I'm finding a dress for a certain event, like a upscale dress, a dress, upscale dress, that it's hard for me to shop at Macy's as well. So we went to H&M. And literally, I think I got like eight things and it was still less than the dress he bought me for Macy's. So, therefore, we both won. Most of the stuff I got was on sale. There were a pair of shorts that I wanted to go with this blazer that I got. I might do an H&M haul. You know what? That's what I'll probably do. Because I got to film some stuff for the rest of July and into August. So, I'll do an H&M haul so y'all can see the stuff that I got. But anyways... Uh, real quick and then I'll let y'all go we were listening to I uh, went on to Apple Music and got the No Limit Records Greatest Hits and I'm gonna tell you somebody lit up on a couple of songs this guy right here <laughs> we both lit up on a couple of songs oh yeah yeah no definitely definitely but I knew that I, I put it in there because I was just like it took me back to my white towel days and by white towel, Marcus used to be in the club with a white towel around his neck. Because it was hot and humid in the club. This is Need yeah. something to pat, pat yourself down. Pat yourself and down. And sometimes when you dance with chicks in the club, you got to pat them down too. Yeah. Yeah. He did that with me, but no telling how many chicks he did that with. So. I do have no chicks. Well, you just said sometimes you're dancing with chicks. That was just calling you out. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did. He wiped the sweat off my back. <laughs> Cause she was twerking. I was. Didn't you have a boyfriend that time? I surely did. Yeah, you did. I don't know where he was at. I didn't care. <laughs> Apparently, I wasn't caring either. Cause Marcus was all up on me. But I danced like that regardless. Like I danced closer to you than I would have danced with any other dude, just because I trusted you. Meaning, I didn't think you were going to do anything inappropriate, like... No, you were horribly stupid for thinking that. <laughs> but you didn't do anything inappropriate. <laughs> That's because I had three other chicks in there. Was, who was that you was dancing with? Did you get that that day? I don't think so. I know I ended up leaving early, because it was too many of them in there. <laughs> and I stood... Oh, no. And I stood out, because I had on a big old hat. That wasn't the club. That was the part. I had on a different big hat. Uh, uh, believe you me, I remember my look. I was doing the J Lo look. I had a big old hat with a crop top and some uh, anaconda print <laughs> pants. So my stomach was right. Okay. But no, you know, I would be killing it, twerking, popping, and I felt like at least I could trust Marcus that he wasn't going, like some dudes, you dance with them, you dance all hard, they'll try to grab your, you know, your coochie. So, I know club. it was in due time. <laughs> <laughs> at least after the club. No. <laughs> then I had to leave. He didn't get to do none of that. And he knew he wasn't going to get to do none of that. Not while I was dating somebody. Not while I was dating somebody. But no. Yeah. Definitely took Marcus back and it took me back. That no limit. That no limit. And we got to reminisce again on how bad Silk the Shaka was. <laughs> <laughs> he was horrible. You got to respect him because he owned it. Did he own it? Yes, he owned it. He, didn't have no, he couldn't do nothing else. It don't matter. He said, this is dope. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to do this for about eight years straight. <laughs> and somebody's it's going to get catchy. People going to like, kind of like all the music right now. Everybody know it's horrible. They stick with it. Yeah. Angel grade parking somebody's trunk. <laughs> no, I'm not. 
but we did come to a complete stop because somebody had to turn left off the street but uh yeah 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 no limit what do y'all think we we've done a couple of music podcasts but what do you all think i, I threw marcus out an idea of possibly doing songs that we think are classics and hip-hop and r&b like us creating a list because i don't know if our list would be the same i think we would have maybe one or two similar songs but marcus is more of a hip-hop head than i am and i think our point of view on r&b is definitely different because do you like did you like key sweat i do now that it's old like back then it was just like eh, but now listen to it it's like <laughs> yeah like it's some songs you know like this song we be singing together oh uh yeah now like i wasn't no key sweat fan but but were you an, I r. Am kelly? Now were you an r kelly fan he was okay he was straight oh, okay he was good See, i wasn't an r kelly fan he got like he got hits yeah, you know what I'm I, You can't deny the hits. Well, because everybody else liked them. That doesn't yeah. mean that I like 12 play that whole album. That's one big hit. To a lot of people, but not me. Most. Okay. Most people, I don't care. It's not a hit to me, is what I'm right. saying. What his hit was, I believe I can fly. Now that was a hit. That crossed over. It did. Okay. Black people, white people, Asian people, Latino people, everybody was believing they could fly. But not everybody felt like they could they didn't see nothing wrong with a little bump and run. But that would be on my on my classic list. <laughs> <laughs> see? <laughs> that would be on my classic list. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, let us know what you think about that. Alright, well we're about to get to his parents because they're gonna leave in an hour and uh kick it with them for a little bit. Why you say sooner than that? They trying to catch the eight o'clock flower. Yeah, so an hour. They gotta be up here before eight. That is, it'll be before 8 in an hour. All right, calm down, okay? You got all your merchandise back here. Just calm down. You're going to be spoiled for the day. I deserve to be spoiled every day. Every day, because I'm alive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let Kai out. Let him out. Sorry. Let Kai out. He let you out. <laughs> Is it good? I wash his fingers. Is it good? Oh, you don't like it? There. Get down. Get on what? We got his head. Do you know where your parents are? Your family? I guess he was on a picnic or a camping trip. He wandered off and got himself lost. We're out in the woods. Everything's his own way. Sounded like a boy after your own heart. How long has he been out there? Six years. Nobody could survive in that forest for six years. At least not alone. You'll see. I have Elliot. Who's Elliot? What's up you guys? I have not picked up this camera to vlog in like two days. Like the last footage I got was me taking the boys to see um, Finding Dory, which was hilarious. Um, so just to recap that really quickly, the twins did great. They sat there for like 30 minutes watching the movie and then they wanted to get up and move around. Well, luckily we went to an early show it was like at 310 
and um so i let so there's barely anybody in there's like 10 people everybody had young kids we were down like in the handicap seating so there was another section that was down lower that nobody was in where it's like the front of the theater so i let them run around <laughs> in the front of the theater and they kept going up and down the steps then eventually i did end up um breastfeeding them to get them to sit down it was like the last 15 20 minutes of the the movie that i was just like okay they're going a little crazy so they did nurse and speaking of nursing they're now down to just nursing at night now the reason why I ended up starting to nurse when I got back from the trip is that I had like the biggest knot in my right breast like it was huge and I couldn't get it to move no matter how much I tried to like express hand express massage it out it wasn't moving so I um let Kai nurse and literally within 10 seconds he got that knot completely out of my boob so <laughs> That let him know, oh, it's still possible, but they don't nurse at all now during the day, just at night when we get them from their crib um, if they wake up. But sometimes Kai doesn't wake up, so he might not nurse at all. Um, and what else? I feel like there was something else that's happened that I did not record, and I'm so sorry. I've been trying to edit. Me and Marcus did the podcast, as you all saw, so I'm glad that happened. But real quick, the reason why I was picking up the camera right now is that, you know, I tell y'all to hit me up on Instagram, but I keep forgetting that Instagram kind of um, makes sure I'm not getting messages from people I might not want to get messages from, which also means that I sometimes don't get any of your messages. So somebody messaged me at the beginning of this year asking me to shout her out in a vlog so i'm gonna do it now and i hope she's still watching me her name is jakaidi that name first of all is beautiful j-a-k-a-i-d-i -A -A -I. she goes by crown goddess i want to tell you thank you so much for watching our vlogs and i am so sorry that she posted this message to me on january 28th <laughs> of this year so some of you all might see that I'm just now responding to your messages. It, you all have to understand that there are a lot of crazy messages that I get to. Like some man asking me if I still have breast milk. Like I, And then a lot of young kids just not wanting anything. So sometimes the saner ones of you all get buried underneath other messages. So let me apologize. Your best bet is probably to... If you want me to see a message, just leave it under one of my most recent photos. Because I usually go back to those during the week. Like once I post a photo, I'll go back like multiple times during the week to see if there's anything I should respond to underneath the photo. That might be your best bet. Or at least tell me under the photo that you DM'd me. And then I'll go and check it. But um, I hope you guys having a good Thursday. I fly out tomorrow night to D.C. by myself for Mommy Con. So y'all be praying for me and pray for my hubby. He'll be back here with all three of the boys. So that's all the update. Oh, as y'all can see, I did a chunky twist um, set. I wasn't going to take it out until Saturday. But me and the twins have a audition tomorrow together. And I can't go with my twist looking like this. So I'm either going to wear a wig or I'm going to take this out. I'm not sure. But anyways, I hope y'all have a good night. I'm going to get off of here so me and my husband can kick it. Love you guys. Bye. Hello, everybody. I hope you all are having a beautiful, glorious, and blessed Friday. Hope the family is doing all right. I've got me and my three boys. We're leaving the gym. I took a, uh, a class today. I um, did... I didn't like push myself the way I used to in the classes to the point of like complete and total exhaustion because I find that I just can't make it through the class anymore. So I did, I got a good workout while not um, killing myself at the same time. So it was good, worked out for an hour. Now we're gonna run one quick errand. I'm gonna get something for little Marcus to eat. The twins should fall. Okay, so Kai's already asleep. And I just got him in the car. So I was about to say the twins should be falling asleep here soon because their nap usually starts at 10:30 and it's now 11:10. So it's like already 40 minutes into when they usually would nap. So um, later on, me and the twins have an audition 
but um once i get home what i'm going to do is upload friday's vlog that's already you know been edited together and everything i just have to upload it and make the thumbnail so and wash my butt so that's all that's going on with me this friday what's going on with y'all y'all got any plans i leave today for dc so that's something else all right i will uh, talk to you guys later uh, uh, i get it back get it back i get it back work it back Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. Get 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 it out. Is it all your Get it out. Uh, I get it out. Work it out. Uh, I work it out. Work it out. Uh, I work it out. Get 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 it out. That is a baby. Get it out. Work it out. Work it. Uh, work it out. Uh, I work it out. Work it out. Uh, I work it out. Work it out. Uh, I work it out. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it, 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 get it. Go mwah. Go mwah. Watch out, don't step on his fingers. So what's up guys, I am on a shuttle that's at LAX because I have to fly out to DC for Mommy Con. And I got on the 8 a.m. shuttle thinking that it would get me here in enough time to make my flight. My flight starts boarding at 9.25 and it is probably almost 9.10 now. We're at Terminal 2 and I have to make it to Terminal 6 before I can get off. And the traffic is hellacious. Let me see if I can show y'all. Can y'all see all those red lights? That's the traffic at LAX. So, I still have to go to security. Luckily, I don't have to check any bags. So, if I'm not held up, if the TSA line is not full, or I'm not held up, I might be able to run through there quickly and make my flight. But I'm super duper nervous and can't even think straight. <laughs> Oh God, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Oh, I also want to tell y'all, so earlier I was at an uh, audition with the babies for uh, um, a print job, so not a commercial, but for like photos. And it took them an hour to see us. And by the time they saw me and the boys, they acted a darn fool. So when I finally got back on to the other side of town at around 5.30, I then had a meeting or a uh, yeah, I had to go to Home Depot to talk to the designer about our kitchen because we had to pay for something else. And then, um, this is just a lot. I'm nervous. Six. Oh, yeah. I can't even think straight. Because I need to make my flight. Uh, yeah. What's happening, family? First things first, I know I need to get an actual uh, different vlogging camera because the one I got is horrible. I was sitting there recording, telling y'all about my ventures. Turn it around and it was dead. No, it said insufficient space. Anyway, Angel's out of town right now. She's on her way to Washington. I got these two guys with me. It's kind of dark. I don't know if y'all can see them. Kai, Sai. Anyway, so yeah, so yeah, it's a nice little, uh, it's my one of my favorite spots to go to. It's like walking distance from my house. And I go there to get uh, teriyaki chicken because I love teriyaki chicken and rice. And uh, the reason it's dark, well, it's almost 8.30, it's still, it's probably the only time we'll be outside this weekend is at night because right now it's still like almost 100 degrees because it's been so freaking hot today, yesterday. It's supposed to be even hotter tomorrow. So I'm not about to be out in this and I'm not about to drag these babies out in it because it's real hot. How's it going? So that's what it is. Marcus is at his friend's house. But uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. It's the fellas. We kicking it this weekend. Angel's gone. Callie's the only chick at the house, so we might kick her out too. But uh, check it back in with y'all. Let y'all know what's going on. Hopefully I can make it there. They close soon, but 
I'm walking at a good pace, so holla back. I made it to my gate, gate 69A. I'm sweating so profusely because I ran from the international terminal all the way to terminal C. So, this is not me. I um, have not, I, I think I ran it almost a half a mile. Okay, let me get on the plane. So, not only did I make my flight, 